You are listening to From Ring to Veil. I'm Shannon. And I'm Kim. And we are your wedding planning gurus. We take the stress out and put the fun back into wedding planning. Trends for 2019, episode number 195. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe to the show. If you've not yet joined our Facebook group, do that too. Facebook dot com you can find our group it is from ring to veil wedding planning community click join answer the few couple of questions that we have and we'll let you in if you are planning a wedding in the seattle area check out our seattle metro area wedding planning resource guide it has many of our favorite vendors in there they've already been vetted by us so you know they're good you can find it at firmingtavail.com slash RG paperback or firmingtavail.com slash RG Kindle. Or you can just search it on Amazon Seattle Wedding Planning Guide. So we've made it to the last episode of 2018. Woo! <laughs> yeah, woo! <woo-woo. laughs> As you guys probably know, if you've been listening to the show, we're about to take a break between December the middle of December to the middle of January. We will be back January, uh, middle of January, 2019. It's going to be hard to get start saying <laughs> that now, but uh, we will be back. To, so no worries. If, you, if you're just looking for something to listen to, go back and listen to some that you really enjoyed and that maybe you might need a refresher on. Uh, and, and of course, there's other wedding planning podcasts out there too. I know probably... You're partial to us, but that's okay. We, we're we okay if you listen to them too. Uh, especially if you're in the Seattle area that we have another um, local vendor, uh, Reed, as you guys probably know him. He's, he's got some great podcast episodes with some local vendors. So if you're, if you're looking to hire some vendors here in the Seattle area, that's another podcast you can listen to. So we are talking trends today, and we are going to start out with the Pantone colors for spring and summer 2019. You know we love to talk about Pantone colors. Yes, we do. And the color of the year is not out yet, or we would be announcing that. But this year's colors. (laughs) Not this year, next year's. (laughs) Well, whatever. Close. Next year's colors are very, very bright. They are bright. It it makes me think of the eighties. Really? Yeah, I just all the bright neon looking colors. I don't know. I just don't. Plus, the trends when we talk about more of like dress trends mm-hmm. and stuff like that later, you'll get flashbacks of the eighties as well. <laughs> I think. So just beware. Everything is new again. <laughs> All right, let's just start from the beginning. Um, and of course, we're going to add all these links to the show notes, either right there on your podcast listener app, or you can find them on com slash 195, not 159, 195. You can find it there. Um, all the links that we're going to talk about today, they should be there. Number one, well, the first one on our list here is Fiesta. <laughs> An orangey red, right? Wouldn't you say? Mm-hmm. Festive yeah. orange red. Yeah, it's like a pepper color. Yeah. yeah. You know, you have like red and orange peppers. It's kind of that combined. This says Fiesta radiates energy, passion, and excitement. I see lots of energy in that color, though. That's for sure. Fiery. Hmm. The next one is Jester Red. This red combines rich elegance with urbanity. Urbanity? <laughs> Urbanity? 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 Yeah. Urbanity? I, <laughs> However you say that. And I'm not really sure what that means. <laughs> I guess means modern city-ish. I yeah, maybe. Maybe. But, it I looks just that's, slightly that's just off a weird... maroon, right? Yeah. has more red in it yeah. than a purple. Yes. I agree. So. Next one is... So, I say turmeric. Mm-hmm. And some, some other people say it differently, but that's how I'm saying it. And yeah, that's exactly that color. If you've ever seen it, that's the color. <laughs> and uh, orange. I mean, why are all these orangey colors? Well, There's a lot of well, orangey colors in there. 
turmeric, uh, this orange infuses a hint of pungency into the palate, which I'm not really sure what that means either, but um, it is bright. It sucks it. It sucks it to you. <laughs> it does. It's bright. It's <laughs> colorful. It's very orangey. So there you go. Living coral is the next one, and it's, it's coral. It's coral, and it's really pretty though. It's subtle. It's a lot more mm-hmm. subtle than the first three. Yeah. Um, it's animating sh- this animating shade whose golden undertone gives it a softer edge, which, yes, that's true. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It does. Agreed. All right. Pink Peacock. The tantalizing theatrical pink peacock fans out to a feast for the eyes. Eh, I don't know if I agree with that, but it is a very pretty pink color. Um, mm. It's not quite a fuchsia, so it's not that bright, but it is it's a nice full pink. In my opinion, I me mean, be probably be a pretty lipstick, don't you think? <laughs> uh, it's too pink for me. I'm more of a plum girl. Okay, so not for <laughs> you, but for other people, that'd be good. Pepper stem. I think they're reaching here. Seriously, <laughs> pepper. St- oh, I think this is the color of a pepper stem. <laughs> a zesty yellow green pepper stem encourages our desire for nature's her- healthy. Bounty. I just love their descriptions. I know. It's so funny. <laughs> it's so funny. And it is a pretty color. I like it. So it's not yeah. it's not sagey. It's a little bit more yellowish, right? Yeah. And it's not a color, you know, when you think of a green pepper, mm-hmm. it's green. Right. So this is the pepper stem. But the pepper stems are still green. Not that green. <laughs> <laughs> They're not green, bell pepper green. Or jalapeno. No, right? Or (laughs) Anaheim, which is even darker. (laughs) Uh, Poblano. Let's go on. We can see how many peppers we can name. Oh, the next color, Aspen Gold, which I feel like is in a lot of these colors, you know, on this palette here. The Aspen Gold is probably in every single one of these colors. Uh, Brightening (laughs) your day, sunny Aspen Gold stimulates feelings of joy and good cheer. Mm. So it does. It's just a bright, sunny color. Yeah. The next one is Princess Blue. It's majestic royal blue hue glistens and gleams, which is true. It's basically royal blue. Blue. Mm -hmm. (laughs) It's very much a royal blue. Next one, Toffee. Looks exactly like you think it does. Mm -hmm. Uh, Deliciously irresistible, (laughs) tasteful toffee. Whets the appetite, and that's W H E T S. <laughs> Whets, like whip. <laughs> anyway, hey, that, I Sorry. didn't write this. I'm just, I'm just I telling know. you what is this. <laughs> okay, the next one is mango mojito. <laughs> the golden yellow mango mojito feeds your craving for a pleasant, for pleasant comforts. Again, orangey yellow. Right? Yeah. Next one, terrarium moss. I do actually like this color. Terrarium moss conjures the thoughts of flourishing foliage and the physical beauty of the natural world. And that's probably why I like it, because I do love <laughs> nature. And mm-hmm. it's very nature-y uh, green, don't you think? Yeah. yeah. This next one can be overwhelming if you use it too much. That's Let me just true. say. Sweet lilac. An endearing pink infused with lavender, sweet lilac's easy and gentle banner quietly charms. It is pink. Yeah. Not Pepto pink, but close. Yeah, close. <laughs> and it's not blush. It is pink. No, it's pink. So we're, we're moving into the more deeper pinks this year. Yeah. And the next set are my colors. <laughs> <laughs> the neutrals. The, the 2019 neutral. <laughs> neutrals. Uh, number one, soybean. Subtle soybean naturally appear uh, appeals as a reliable and versatile neutral. Yes. So it's more than beige. I would say it has mm. more of a yellow undertone. Is that what you're seeing? Mm-hmm. So it's not it's not quite tan. It's not quite beige. It's a yellowy yeah. beige. Yeah. There's no gray in it, though. It's mostly yellow. and Yeah. The next one is Eclipse. Woohoo! Like it always does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done, yeah. 
Uh, a deep blue, redolent. I like how they use the, the dictionary in these descriptions. <laughs> a deep blue, redolent of the midnight sky. Thoughtful eclipse is both serious and mysterious. It's and really it's pretty. Deep, yeah, it's a midnight blue. Yeah. Which is one of my favorite colors. I'm a blue girl, so. All right. Next mm. is the sweet corn. Sweet corn. Sweet corn tempts with its soft and buttery attitude. <laughs> it's oh, attitude. Think of corn silk. When you take the corn out of the husk, mm-hmm. that's what it looks like. <laughs> yes, it's that color. It's basically an off-white, a dark off-white. Mm-hmm. But again, yes, like you said, mm-hmm. it's the same color as corn silk. Mm-hmm. Brown granite. Don't take it for granted. <laughs> hey, maybe Sorry. you should write for these places. <laughs> I, did, I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I was I was listening to somebody talk the other day, and they said, "Don't take it for granted." And I'm like, "It's not granted. <laughs> it's granted. Don't take it for granted." And he said, "Granted," and I'm like, "You stupid idiot." Anyway, <laughs> brown granite. Grounded and strong. Brown granite is understated, authentic, and timeless. It's brown. It's brown. And it's not a pretty brown. I mean, it's kind of just a grayish brown. It's a good base color. (laughs) Maybe. (laughs) Accents. I don't know. I don't know where I use that, to tell you the truth. Well, that's all. That is all of the spring-summer 2019 uh, Pantone color palette. Uh, again, <laughs> click the link if you want. Check it out yourself. I, I highly recommend looking through those colors. Those, So when they have these colors, that means a lot of the designers were pulled from all these colors. So you'll see a lot more of these colors and all of these designs that are coming up, right? Yeah, because, you know, spring and summer fashion became – our 2019 spring and summer fashion was in early September. That's when they started their shows. Mm-hmm. So. That's where they got these colors from. A lot of designers are using them. So Pantone picks them. So you'll see them a lot more. Yeah. Right. Next year. Next year. Okay. Now that we're done with the colors, let's move on to some trends. We we did some research and found a bunch of, of trends that are coming up. And we've kind of combined them all and, and culled them out. And now we have a nice little list for you. Mm-hmm. So we're going to start off with the 2019 trends for bridal dresses. And I'm sure uh, you could probably <laughs> guess where a lot of this comes from. So, Okay, so it's called the Meghan Markle effect. Both her wedding dress and the reception dress are becoming very big trends because her reception dress was sleeveless with a deep V in the front and it was very loose. It was very A-line. And a lot of people are using that as a design. Also, her wedding dress with the boat neck and the sleeves is very popular. So there you go. You're going to see a whole lot of those dresses. Yeah. Uh, the resurgence of the bridal tiara. Makes sense, right? Mm-hmm. We had veils last year. That was pretty big. Now we're kind of bringing back a little bit of a tiara. So you will. Mm-hmm. you can either do that by itself or with a veil. Either yeah. one. We still saw... During Bridal Fashion Week, we still saw tons of veils Mm -hmm. and capes. That's true. Also, here comes the 80s. (laughs) As I told you, I warned you before. Thanks. Oversized. Whether it be bows, puffed sleeves. Oh, no. Sparkle. Abundant sparkle. And large floral elements on your dress. I could see that. I could see large floral um, elements. And I'm thinking not the full dress, but maybe around the Mm. trim or on the bottom, like a little, you know, accent thing. Yeah. It's 3D floral elements. So they're like, they like pop out. That's so cool. Appliques, not embroidered. (laughs) But the bows and the sleeves, come on, Mm -mm. people. Mm -mm. Who likes that? (laughs) I don't know. The bows make your butt look big, <laughs> especially if they're in the back. Now, if they're in the front and tastefully done, you know. An oversized bow right on your belly? I don't know about I, that. 
I don't know. I don't know what they're thinking. You're trying to work with it, but yeah. Yeah. It'd be like a Christmas bow right there in there. <laughs> Put it right here on the boots. <laughs> hey, you know, it's in I style. Need that. It's trend. Yeah. <laughs> I need that. Make my boots uh, look bigger. <sighs> okay, so now Shannon's favorite thing, bridal jumpsuits. <laughs> I just don't see the point. I can understand it if it's a going away outfit. Or maybe sure. reception. Yeah, even reception. But I'm sorry, jumpsuits are difficult to get in and out of. <laughs> and to pee. Right, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> if you have to pee, you better take someone with you because yeah. you're going to be dancing before you get out of this jumpsuit. <laughs> <laughs> Just Unless saying. they make it with a nice little hidden zipper. I mean, <laughs> I'm just saying. Then you have to have somebody there to help you hold it apart so you can pee. I don't, I just don't understand. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, bridal jumpsuits. jumpsuits. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's move on to floral. <laughs> <laughs> Something we love to talk about. Yes, actually. <laughs> so the last few years, everything's been blush and bashful and gray and green and very muted. Pastel. Ca- muted, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, as you just heard us talk about bright colors. They're also coming into florals. And bright purples are replacing pinks. So yay! Yay! <laughs> I like that, you hear, actually. You hear all the florist desi- the floral designers go, thank goodness! <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of coming up with other pinks to use. That's yeah. right. Anyway. So... Nice. Okay. Abundant Mm -hmm. greenery. That's kind of been the style for the last couple of years anyway. Yeah. I imagine lots of eucalyptus and things Uh like that, right? Yeah. And dahlias, they say, are replacing roses and peonies, which I warn you, dahlias are fall flowers. You can rarely get them any other time. (laughs) And they are beautiful. Beautiful. If you're if you're going to put them in your wedding. And there's so many different types and colors and sizes um, but you have to be careful, right? Because they do yes. tend to fall apart. Yes, and they are very fragile, and you have to find a local grower. They don't like to be shipped. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just saying. But they do That's make my- some really pretty yeah. stuff. Also, hanging florals, garlands, and floral walls still are going. still popular. Yeah. Yeah. And just remember, floral walls can be very, very, very expensive. That's right. So don't go to your floral designer and say, I want a floral wall for $500. It ain't Not happening. happening. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Now decor. What kind of trends are we going to see for decor? Uh, more rust, silver, and gold phasing out the rose golds and coppers. Okay. Rose gold, fine. Coppers, meh. <laughs> I'm not sure if they're going to well, actually, you know. Yeah, that's what it says. Rose gold and copper are kind of similar, so. True. That's true. The rust I can see with the next element in the decor is rust. Industrial decor is replacing more of the rustic. Okay. So. Industrial rust. Yeah, I see that. I see yeah. that. So. Lots of, lots of texture is going to be in lace stuff frayed edges beading things yeah, this like is that on your linens your napkins if you have like table covers that could be beaded sequins glitter yeah that's right <laughs> interesting yeah. that's really interesting you know with the industrial when i think industrial i think of very um plain walls like very mm-hmm sleek walls not textured at all so yeah. i imagine that's why where the texture is coming in with the linens mm-hmm. hmm. i can i can see this i like it i like it soften up the the rough edges that's right so before we move on we need to tell you guys about zola if you haven't heard yet and you haven't checked them out you better get over there and check it out they are awesome registry wedding websites you can even do wedding invitations and thank you cards and everything in between create your free wedding website at zola in minutes they have over 100 beautiful wedding designs to choose from 
That's right. And we've done it. We know it's easy. It walks you right through everything. So it is nothing difficult. If you, Even if you aren't techy techie person or tech savvy person, you can do this. If you do your registry at Zola as well as your wedding website, they both integrate. So you can have them all in one place. All they have to do is click and go to your registry. They have so many things to choose from for that registry too. Not just things for the house, but things for you like Sonos and Airbnbs. You can even create funds like a honeymoon fund or travel gift cards. Take care of that honeymoon right there on your registry. So to start your free wedding website or registry on Zola, go to Zola.com slash FRTV. That is Zola, Z-O-L-A dot com slash FRTV. So the next on our list of trends is invitation suites and event branding. Event branding seems kind of new to me. Unique features on paper, geometric cutouts, watercolors, wax seals. Wax seals are getting really big. Uh, they've, mm. they've started, I've seen them a lot more lately than I have in past. Yeah. Color blocking, that's always kind of fun. And custom illustrations. I mean, yeah. you have somebody that's talented that you know, wouldn't it be fun to have them custom illustrate your, your invitation or your save the dates or something like that? Custom monogramming is becoming very popular as well. You can make it where it's on every bit of your invitation suites. Mm -hmm. You know, that's cards, menus, programs. Also, having your photographer take a picture of all of your paper stuff is very popular, too. Because it's a cool picture. Yeah, I think so. That's really cool. I mean, that way you don't have to have the actual papers. Mm -hmm. Uh, About, you know, 50 of them hanging around for 20 years. (laughs) because you didn't send them all out but whatever yeah uh let's move on to food themed food stations instead of one buffet so this is the examples they gave not that i like them (laughs) (laughs) um raw seafood bar you know oysters shrimp no thank you (laughs) crab (laughs) gross yeah kim and i don't like seafood very much so (laughs) pizza and tacos i can get behind oh yeah Oh, yeah. (laughs) But, you know, like you have a salad station, you have a pizza station, you have a taco station. Or, you know, if you like sliders or mashed potatoes or, you know, Mm -hmm. just different stations instead of one buffet. Have people create their own food in with this station. I like that idea a lot. Mm -hmm. Uh, And, and, you know, this this one has been around for a while. Custom cocktails. Mm -hmm. Or interactive bars where guests can choose their own cocktails. Yes, you have a guest mixologist that will create a cocktail for your guests. That sounds expensive. It does. It does. Because, I mean, you'd have to have a whole lot of options. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I guess you could, you don't have to have a whole lot of options. You can, here's your options. What do you want? Kind of thing. Yeah. (laughs) Um, But, you know, custom cocktails slash mocktails has been on the rise, I think, for quite a while. And sometimes it can reduce your bar costs if you have a custom cocktail, because that's the only cocktail plus your beer and wine. Right. Iced tea, water, you know. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, uh, hair and makeup. What are we looking at for 2019? Gosh, 2019. That sounds crazy. Natural look for makeup with bold accents, such as a wine colored lip or full lashes. See that the full lashes would just ruin the natural look for me. Well, if you don't get crazy with it. Yeah, I guess. Because some people, I've seen the lashes and they're just out there. Yeah. They're like, it's all you see. Yeah, exactly. I think they're they're talking about, yes, have lashes, lashes, lashes. 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 I mean, because sometimes if you're going for a natural look and you don't really kind of do anything to your lashes, Mm. they get lost. Your eyes Mm. kind of get lost. So you have to do something. All right, next uh, on the hair, half up sweeps that frame face, soft locks gathered in the back of the head. So this kind of reminds me of the olden days, you know, where they pull up part of their hair and then they do all the curls. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it looks a little different than that. You can make it a little (laughs) nicer, but that's kind of the idea. A little bit more modern. Yes, a little more (laughs) more modern. (laughs) And last but not least, Kim and I are always for this. Weddings aren't just for Saturdays anymore. 
You can choose a Friday or a Sunday, even a day of the week. That's right. It'll probably save you money. And it'll be a more unique type of wedding, I think. You'll have a little more leeway with things. Because Saturdays are like, let's get her done and get out of here kind of thing. <laughs> Especially for vendors or venues, I should say. Yeah. Because sometimes and you're Sundays, sharing. you know, Sunday weddings, you can have an early wedding. Mm-hmm. You know, have a brunch wedding. Hey, we love brunch. That's That would be <laughs> really fun. These are the trends that we found the most that, that they're saying are coming up for 2019. Are any of these on your list to do? I mean, we would love to hear about that. Have you gotten married and you had any of this stuff? Any of these trends in, in your wedding? Let us know. Email us info at fromringtovail.com or contact us through Facebook. We'd love to hear. Um, I have to say thank you so much for the reviews and for the, the emails and the love. It's just so sweet. <laughs> I just, you know, we got another uh, iTunes review lately. And it just, you know, brought a little tear to my eye. Oh, it was so sweet. <laughs> So thank you guys. I I just really appreciate it. It just really makes it worth it, to yeah. tell you the truth. We really loved hearing about how we've helped you and that you've binge listened to us. I'm surprised that you binge listen <laughs> and listen to us cackle all day long. But hey. Hey, I don't cackle. I do. <laughs> My husband says I do, and it gets on his nerves. Well. Don't forget about our timelines and checklists. The price is about to go up. I'll just give you a warning. So if you want to get in on this $2.99 price, do it now. If you're looking for some swag to support From Ring to Veil, we have some at fromringtoveil.com slash T-E-E. We have t-shirts, bags, uh, phone cases, all kinds of fun stuff, pillows. Uh, there are some things for you too, such as bride shirts or mother of the bride or bridegroom or any of that. Um not bridegroom, bridesmaids. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why bridegroom came out of my mouth, but uh, mother of the groom. That's what it was. I was thinking. Hmm. Uh, check it out from ringtovail.com slash T-E-E. Subscribe to our podcast anywhere. There are podcast apps. That's that right. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. And. Until next time, no stress, no worries. Keep calm and listen on. And Merry and Christmas. Happy holidays. <laughs> <laughs> Very good.